Hey, I'm Peachy. And a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, I once had hair. Welcome to the painting phase. So this video was voted by our patrons as the next video to make. So if you want a hand or a say in what we paint, then subscribe to our Patreon account. We've got all sorts of perks, such as behind the scenes, Discord. We also have the opportunity to get feedback on your model. So if you want some thorough feedback, then we'll do that as well. And also you get one-to-one -one tuition with myself for two hours as well. Lovely. I won't make tea for you though. That'll be impossible remotely. I'd love to, but I can't. Now, before we begin painting, it's worth pointing out that when it comes to this guide, we're gonna be starting off by getting the models painted up to a certain point ready for the tabletop. And then after that, we'll add some extra details to make them look a little bit more swanky, if you like. Now, the undercoats here, I've used Mechanica Standard Grey. It's not really massively necessary for K2SO. However, it is useful when painting Cassian. So if you don't have Grey, spray it whatever you've got and then just base coat it with Mechanica Standard Grey. Starting with Cassian, first of all, we're gonna use Rakar Flesh and we're gonna do a heavy dry brush all over, paying special attention to the face and gloves. However, if you want to, you can always layer this instead like you can see here. This will act as a pre-highlight before moving on to adding any shades or contrasts. Now all I'm doing here is adding Storm Fiend straight from the pot to Cassian's jacket. If you get any of this on the belts and gloves, just apply some Rakar flesh to those areas just to tidy back up. Using Agros Dune straight from the pot, we shall apply this to the trousers and belt. Now I'm going to thin Agros Dunes down here. I'm looking at one part contrast to two parts water, making it quite thin. But this will be perfect for the fur collar, the gloves and those stripes going down his arms, giving it a more subtle cream look. Now I'm going to apply Black Legion to the boots and backpack. As it dries, you'll see some of those rack off highlights push through, so zero highlighting required. I'm also going to pick out Cassian's facial hair and his hair with Black Legion as well. The blaster, belt buckle and details on the backpack are all being picked out with iron hand steel. Now to add some depth to the jacket and metallics, I'm going to shade this with Norn Oil. If you wish to, you could always thin down Black Legion if you don't have Norn Oil. I'm using it because it's the perfect consistency for what I need. Now I'm thinning down Gullum into one part contrast to two parts water. I'm now applying this to the face. Apply a second coat if you wish to. Now after I applied the second coat, I still needed a third, so I'm just applying a third one here. Because sometimes, depending on how much you thin it down, it can make a difference. Now at this point, Cassian is ready for the tabletop, but before we begin basing him, we need to get K2SO up to the same point as well. Like Cassian, I'm going to pre-highlight K with a dry brush. Here, I'm going to pre-metalify him up using iron hand steel. I've done it this way as Kate and the other security droids have a strange tone on their armour that sits somewhere between grey, metallic and black. Now after some practice, this is the best way I've found to do that armour for Kay. but if you have any better suggestions, then tell us in the comments. Now here I've thinned down Black Legion with water to a 50-50 ratio and I'm applying that to Kay's armour. Again, with it being thinned down, you'll notice those metallic highlights are popping through as it dries, yet still maintaining that dark grey black feel.
Next up is to add some subtle weathering to K2. This we're going to use some sponge chipping. It's a little like dry brushing, so dip some sponge in the pot. Remove as much as you can, then just gently dab across the armour. If you do find you put too much on, just get back over with some Black Legion and start again. Now I'm going to add some depth to the gun and knock back that armour with Norn Oil. Again, just be mindful of pooling when you do this. Next up is picking out that yellow detail on the arm joint, and for this I'm using Avalanche Sunset. And Kate also has a little blue button on his chest. Starting off, we're going to pick that out using Corax White, and then just paint over with Storm Fiend. Now that we've got K2SO up to a certain point, like Cassian, they're ready to be based and play games with. Now I'm going for a kind of a Jeddah theme here. And the great thing is I'm actually getting two texture paints and whilst they're wet, mix them together. So I'm gonna show you how that looks when it dries as well. It's gonna look amazing. The first thing I'm gonna do is neatly dollop Aglan Earth to the base. I'll add a bit of water as we get closer to the feet then dollop some more around to help build up that texture. The reason why I add some water is it just makes it a lot easier and flows better so I don't end up messing up those boots. And whilst the Aglan Earth is still wet, I'm now going to add some dollops of Armageddon Dust. This will firstly mix in and blend with a previous texture, but will add a different texture to the overall base too when it's dry. Now to add some definition to the base, I'm going to thin down agros dunes with some water to a 50-50 ratio. However, if you have some serif from sepia, use that instead. With agros dunes dry, what I'm now going to do is add some dirt to Cassian and Kay's feet and legs. I'm thinning down agro earthy and just stippling it onto the feet and to the legs for a nice dust vibe. I'm also going to add this to the lower part of Cassian's coat too. Now, I meant to do this before I applied the Agaros dunes, but me and Pat got talking and we got carried away eating bourbons. So it's up to you if you want to do it after or before. It doesn't really make that much difference to the model, but it was meant to be done before we applied the contrast to the base. My bad. Now all that's left to do is build up that rim colour with three thin coats of Steel Legion Drab. Again, you're looking at a 50-50 mix of paint and water here. With the texture dry and those rims painted, Cassian and Kate are ready to blow stuff up and kill some imps. However, my phone went off. I should quickly put that on silent. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because that just really helps support our channel. Now, if you want to take your Cassian and K2SO to the next level, hang on because you're going to be in for a bit of a ride. Not much of a ride, it's just a few highlights to add, but they'll look cool. So again, starting with Cassian first, we're going to highlight those gloves and sleeve stripes, and for this we'll be using Corax White. Now you'll notice I've got some white into those recesses of those sleeves and it looks a bit messy. So what I'm going to do here is get some of that thin agros dunes and just drop that back in. It's great for that. You will make mistakes as you go on, but you know, you can always just tidy back up like I'm doing here. We're now going to highlight Cassian's face using Morgas Bone. Again, I'm just picking out the nose, the brow, cheeks, I'm not going too mad. Now I was watching the movie the other night and I noticed that Cassian has a little radio thing on his right lapel. So what we're going to do is just apply some Avalanche Sunset because it's got a little yellow stripe on it. And then we're going to start highlighting all the black using Storm Vermin Fur. So that's things like the backpack, the holster, and if you want to you can always pick out the hair. I'm just going to use that mix of Gullum and Flesh from my wet palette just to knock back those lips because I think they just look a little bit too bright. And finally, what we're now going to do is highlight that base using Morgas Bone. This is a subtle dry brush and you can see it's picking out that texture. Now we're going to move back onto K2SO and what we're going to do here is start highlighting with some Iron Hand Steel. First of all, we're just going to pick out those joints around the knees, the ankles, the elbows. And then we're just going to add some extra little bits of chip in here and there, just be a little bit neater. Again, if you're happy with the sponge one, leave it as is. And again, we're just going to dry brush with more gas bone. Just to finish K2SO off a little bit more and give them that Galactic Empire vibe, I bought some decals off eBay. Now, I think they're from America. You can just check on eBay and type in Star Wars Legion decals and you'll probably find them. They're great, they're perfect for Star Wars Legion models. There's all sorts of varieties out there and that's what we're going to use today. 
First up, I'm just going to paint a little white circle on the shoulders using Corax White. I'm going to try and keep this to the decal size that I want to use. I'm now going to apply hard coat to the shoulders. This just helps the decal slide on nicely and just keeps it in place. Now I'm going to cut out that decal. As the entire sheet is pretty much carrier film, you'll need to cut as close as you can. And as you can see here, I'm not cutting a perfect circle. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> After placing the decals onto some tissue paper or paper towel, you just need to drench it in some water. I'm just using a brush to do that. Then you want to leave it for around about 30 seconds to soak in. Then remove the decal from the paper back in and add to the desired area. Now I've our decal applied to the desired area. Now there's multiple ways here that you can do decals. I'm just gonna do a couple of options. The first one here is the traditional way, which I've done when I used to work for Workshop, which is just to apply some hard coat over it and then after that, I'm just gonna put some matte varnish. That's option one. And the other option is to use Microset and Microsol. Here, I only need to use Microset because Microsol is good for softening it, especially around curved areas like space between shoulder pads, because K2SO is quite a flat one. We're just gonna use Microset. So once that's on, just gonna dab just so it helps melt it in. And then we're just gonna put some matte varnish over that. Here, I'm gonna be using Thin Down PVA. Now, Thin Down PVA, when it dries, is quite matte. So again, just get the consistency of milk and apply that over. And there we are, as you can see, that's two simple ways of applying decals to a model. So you don't have to use it for K2SO or whatever. You can use it for Marines, you can use it for anything, but it's a nice, simple way of doing it. Whichever option works for you and what you've got at home. And as you can see, our Super Spy Duo are done. Now you can add more details to them if you want to. You can go a bit more with the highlights on the faces, the clothing, it's entirely up to you. I'm happy at the level they're at and it's up to you how you want to take it from here. Just keep them as they are. They're ready to play games with. Pew, 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 pew kill some Imperials. Now we have a whole bunch of links in the description. Everything you've seen here can be bought from Element Games. Now it doesn't cost you any extra, but it does help to support our channel. And again, if you are enjoying this video, have enjoyed it in fact, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Okay, that just helps the channel. Now we also have a Patreon, so please subscribe to that. That really helps us keep one, the lights going, keeps us fueled in tea and biscuits, but it also means we can just keep creating cool, awesome content for you guys to make use of. Now, if you have been watching these guides and making use of them, please share those paint jobs on Twitter and Instagram because we'd like to see how we've helped. It's always useful from our point of view and also it just means we get to share it across the community as well. Well, I love you all. Thank you for watching, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Now we are. Uh, <laughs>